What's going on, Repair Gang? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how a two-stroke carburetor works in kind of the layman's terms area. So right here, we have a wall broke carburetor. This is on a Tanaka chainsaw, and it's gonna be pretty much the same on every single carburetor. So we got a wall broke carburetor. But like I said, you got these cube box carburetors and they're a lot different than four stroke carburetors that just require some air and a main jet most of the time. Now looking at the carburetor parts, we got the main body of the carburetor. We got the high and the low, which I did not remove. We got the metering diaphragm top. We got the fuel pump diaphragm top. We got the fuel pump diaphragm, fuel pump diaphragm gasket, metering diaphragm, metering diaphragm gasket, and the bolts to require to put this back together. We're gonna start over with the fuel pump section. So right here, as you see, it's gonna have a little fuel pump on here. Now the main body of the fuel is gonna go in here. This is gonna go up and down, up and down. This carburetor does need a rebuild, so a lot of the parts are not up to spec. So as you see right here, there's a flap here and a flap here. Those two flaps cover these two holes. So how this works, as right here, when the piston goes up, it's gonna cause this to go up, sucking gas from here, up into here, through this little hole, down into the fuel reservoir. This is like your carburetor bowl almost. Now when that piston goes down, it's gonna cause it to push the fuel through this hole right here, and that's gonna go into the screen. The screen is gonna go right down to this, this is the needle. When And also when the piston is up, it's pushing down on this, causing that needle to go up, allowing gas to come in through here, up into the needle, into this reservoir. Now when that piston goes down, it's gonna flatten out again. And then as the piston goes back up, it's gonna push it down, allowing more gas to come in, and then also pushing gas through this hole causes it to go into the fuel body here, which allows it to go into through the throttle, into the intake on top of the piston, firing through the piston. So that's pretty much how a two stroke works. As the piston goes up, it sucks gas down into the crankcase and it's mixed with oil, causing it to oil everything. Then as it goes back down, it's pulling gas through the carburetor and the gas is coming in through the metering diaphragm, pushing down on this, pushing it to come through here, through this hole in here, causing it to go into the intake on top of the piston, firing the machine up. It's pretty detailed because you wanna make sure all your orifices are closed. Like I said, quick rundown. Gas comes through here, sucks up into this reservoir right here, goes through here, pops out this hole down into the second screen because the first screen is on your fuel filter and then it comes up through this hole, directly through like that, right behind this needle. When the piston's up, the metering diaphragm's pushing down, and then as the piston goes down, it's back to normal, and then this is full of gas, and then as the piston goes back up, pushes it, and that metering diaphragm also pushes it down into the main body of the carburetor, which if you notice on a two-stroke, because it's all mechanical with the diaphragms, there's no real Venturi, it's just a circle because it doesn't need a Venturi because it's not relying on sucking gas up through the bottom like a four stroke carburetor. So I hope that helps a simple explanation. If you're never, if you're having a problem getting fuel, it's either your metering diaphragm, as you can see, this one's kind of worn out. And if I put it on, I know the gasket goes on first normally, but most of the time, as we put it on here, like it's all warped right here and this needs to be replaced. So it's either your metering diaphragm or your fuel pump diaphragm. A lot of times these get, you know, where they're not going up and down like right here. But what happens is, let me show you guys this again one more time. So fuel will suck up through here. It'll open this one way flap, causing it to go through here into the pump. And then again, it'll open up this one way flap, causing it to go right through here and then down through there. Now these flaps are important to stop 
fuel from going back up into the tank or to stop fuel from overflowing back into the pump area. So pretty much it just takes a little path, goes through here, up through here, down through here. And in reality, it's not as complex as one might think. But I just want to walk through on how a two-stroke carburetor works. So yeah, this has been Andrew and you're watching Repair Gang and I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Have a good day. Oh, 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 oh,